Hi everybody, today I'm here to bring to you the newest FDA approved non-surgical treatments for cellulite. Um, these have both been approved very recently. One is called Quo and that is an injectable and the other one is called Resonic and that is an acoustic device. So it doesn't involve any needles, it's just a, a transducer essentially that's applied to the skin and they both seem like very promising devices they are brand new so time will show their efficacy how well they work and what the long-term results are so far studies uh, show them to be effective and very promising Before I get into these two treatments, I want to first start off and explain what cellulite is. Um, number one is it's actually normal. 70 to 90% of women have it. So it's, a, it's almost all women. Um, it's very normal. So if you can learn to love it and just accept it as part of you, I would say that that's probably a wonderful way to start. Um, another very healthy approach towards cellulite, if you do want to eliminate it, is actually building body muscle mass. And the expansion of the muscle as it grows and gets stronger sort of stretches out the skin surface a little bit and smooths it out. So exercise and muscle mass is a fantastic way to smooth out the skin surface and diminish the appearance of cellulite. Now, what is cellulite exactly? Um, our, our skin and our connective tissues all have to have some sort of a foundation or pillars or framework so nothing falls off or slides off another. You don't have your skin sliding off your muscles. And that's done with fibrous connective tissue and that's what cellulite is. So between the, the membrane that, that kind of holds the muscles together and the skin, we have connective tissues and they have these fibrous bands, which you can sort of imagine as pillars that hold a house up together. And in between these pillars, um, the tissues are filled with fat. And if these pillars become stiffer or, um, or if they contract for some reason, then the fat tissue or the adipose tissue can sort of cause a bulging effect. So the dimple that you see in cellulite is where that anchor, that septation, or that pillar is pulling down towards the deeper layer of the, of the soft tissues. So that is what cellulite is. Um, there are two different categories of cellulite. One is sort of the one I just sort of painted a picture of, which is the dimple kind. Well, you see these little dimples, you'll see them on the butt or you'll see them on the thigh. And another kind is more like a, a rolling hills and valleys. They're more sort of longitudinal sort of dips and, and, and elevations. This type of cellulite um, is often uh, related a little bit to laxity. So if other, other treatments can work for this, this type of cellulite like energy-based devices uh, that tighten skin and sort of increase the strength of the supporting tissues in that region. Another component to cellulite, both cellulite and skin laxity, is as women age, um, the elasticity and the amount of collagen in the skin decreases. And also with menopause, the amount of estrogen in the body decreases, and that also leads to thinning skin, diminished collagen production, and decreased elasticity. And so sometimes it isn't really cellulite, it's actually skin laxity. And, and the treatment for that is more related to energy-based devices, um, boosting collagen production, and again, actually building muscle will have the same effect because if you're increasing volume, the skin will smooth out. So building muscle mass always works. Another thing that is heavily marketed are creams for cellulite, with, which basically don't work. Um, there are a few products that actually do increase collagen production and they do have a technology that works 
Um, one of the ones that come to mind that I love is the Elastin body contouring cream, which has the Trihex technology, which actually does help stimulate uh, collagen. But the effects of these creams are on their own, I would say are so minimal that even if you do see improvement, you're still going to see the cellulite and you're still not going to be satisfied. So I think that the topical treatments creams are best in conjunction with an actual therapeutic treatment and then they kind of complement each other and you get an even better result than if you just did one or the other. But if you're comparing any sort of topical cream to an actual injectable or um, energy-based treatment, obviously the treatment is going to have a better result. So how do you know if you have cellulite or laxity? One easy test is if you look at the area where you have cellulite, let's say it's your thigh or your butt, and you pull up the skin, you take your hand and you pull up, and the cellulite goes away, then that is more skin laxity than actual cellulite. But if you pull up and it stays there, it's unchanged, then you know it's cellulite. And the reason why this matters is because if you go to get Quo or this um, acoustic treatment and you actually have skin laxity, the treatment won't help you. But if you chose instead to do a treatment that improves skin thickening and increased collagen production like an energy-based device like for example, thermage, then you might actually see improvement with that because you're treating the actual problem. So it's important to understand whether or not you have cellulite or skin laxity. Okay, so now let's get into Quo. This is an injectable. It's uh, indicated for moderate to severe cellulite. And what it is, is it's an enzyme that degrades collagens type one and three, which are found in these fibrous septations that sort of pull the skin down and create that dimple on the skin surface. Um, the enzyme is called collagenase clostridium histolyticum. It is injected underneath the skin subcutaneously. And the way it works is it has collagenase enzymes called OX1 and OX2, and these digest the collagen in the septi and the fibrous tissues that pull, pull the, those columns of fibrous tissue that pull the skin down and cause the dimpling on the skin. It does not affect um, vessels, it does not affect nerves. However, the problem uh, with this treatment is, well, it's not a problem, it's a, it's a side effect. With this treatment is, as the septi um, sort of break apart with the collagen type one and type three, the associated little tiny veins um, that run along these septations will often sort of also get pulled apart and they will tear. And so a common side effect for this is really significant bruising. Now, obviously bruising will pass, but bruising is painful and you have to expect it because if you get it in the buttocks, it is only actually, this treatment is only approved for the buttocks at the moment, but you're gonna be really black and blue until it heals. So it's important to keep in mind that um, there's bleeding from the shearing of those little tiny venules that run in those columns of fibrous tissue that the enzyme, the collagenase enzyme is degrading. Patients who choose to get this treatment can expect to need three treatments done approximately three to six weeks apart. And sometimes they're coming in to treat the same area again, just to get more release. And sometimes what happens is as the dimples that are most striking get treated, new ones become more obvious. And so you end up in the second and third treatment targeting more uh, smaller dimples that weren't as obvious when you had the, the largest ones you were treating in the first place. Uh, this treatment comes in a little vial. A one vial is good for about 12 dimples, 12 injections. And so usually one vial is used per side. So a total of two vials for the treatment. And as I already kind of alluded to, the most common side effect is bruising and bruising can be painful. Um, otherwise, um, a significant side effect 
which isn't common would be allergy. All injectables always come with a risk of allergy. So if someone is allergic to any type of a collagenase enzyme, they should not have this treatment. Other common side effects are developing nodules that you can feel under the skin and also itchiness um, after the treatment. So in order to minimize and prevent bruising, um, it's always a good idea to stop any kind of aspirin or fish oil supplements you may be taking a few days before the treatment and also to avoid alcohol the day before the treatment and the day of the treatment. Overall, from the results I have seen, uh, this appears to work. Uh, in the severe dimpling, I would say you still see a little bit of cellulite after the treatments, but it's much improved from the original pretreatment photos. So it does look like a promising therapy. The second cellulite treatment, which I'm really excited about because it doesn't involve injecting anything into your body, it is just a probe that's applied to the skin, um, is just really incredible technology. It's not a painful treatment, it has no downtime, it, and it doesn't require anesthesia. So right there, I think that's a win. And the technology is fascinating. Basically, the way this technology works is these shock waves, these shock acoustic waves are fired into the skin in extremely rapid pulses. So you get about a hundred really fast firing acoustic waves per minute. The way it works is um, it absorbs differently into soft tissues and stiff tissues. And the stiff tissues experience a severe shock when, when these acoustic waves hit it, and so they break down. Whereas softer tissues absorb the sound waves better and nothing happens to them. This treatment has a name, it's called acoustic subcision. So the acoustic pulses just shear and cut the fibrous septi, releasing them and causing a smoother skin surface. As I said, it, the treatment generates a little bit of heat um, in the research study I looked at, uh, when asked about pain uh, associated with this treatment, patients said on a pain scale, it was a 2.4 out of 10, which is minimal discomfort, if any. And as I mentioned before, there is no downtime, there's no anesthesia necessary. To treat one area, let's say the buttocks and the thighs takes approximately 30 minutes. So if you're doing both sides, about an hour. But the concept of this is fascinating. And again, this is new technology. It's just been approved by the FDA. We'll see long term, you know, what how it works and what the efficacy is, but it does look extremely promising. So those are the two newest developments in cellulite treatment. Let me know what you think of these. Would you try them? And if you have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video.